Hi, everybody. So if you're here in the waiting room and you have now entered the live broadcast here for Dry Skin and Foundation with the Beauty Shaman, can you just write in the comments and just say, hi, I'm here. There should be a comment section to the right um, if you're on YouTube. I don't know. I'm streaming from Facebook and YouTube. So if you're here, I see there's one person. So I did not really advertise this very much because I've had two fails on live broadcasts because I was using a different streaming software and it was just very confusing and I was really struggling with it. So I switched to StreamYard. You can see the little um, icon there in the corner. And it is a hundred times easier and I'm feeling way more competent. So yay. Um, so if you are here, I, I just see there's just one other eyeball watching me. So, and if there's just one person, then you and I are going to have the full on conversation. Um, but I don't know if you're really here or if you're just, your computer's open to it, but you're not actually here. So just give me a little heads up if you're here. And if anybody else is too, just go into the comment section. Oh, there's two. Okay, just write and say, hi, it's me. Tell me who you are and that you're here. Whoops, sorry. There we go. Okay, just write in that there. I just want to hear who you are. Just say hi. You don't have to say your name. Just say, hi, I'm here, I'm watching. I just wanna be sure I actually have your attention and I'm not just talking to thin air. That's why I want that. Um, all you have to do is say, hello. So I'm monitoring this on YouTube, which there's a bit of a delay and also on StreamYard. So. We're going to give it a couple more minutes because, oh, there's three. Hello, there's three. Okay. So just write down below um, in the comment section and just tell me who you are or, or just say hello. Um, I did not really advertise for this for those of you watching because I've had a few fails with my software, my live streaming software, and now I'm on a different... Um, Hi, Cindy. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you saying that you love my work. I work so hard. Oh, it's Melinda. Well, Melinda, thank you so much for coming. You're such a dear. I'm so grateful to have you both here. Um, so, you know, technology has been sort of a little bit frustrating for this for me, but I figured it out. So I'm so excited. Uh, I hate using that phrase. So excited. Everybody says that. But um, anyway, I am excited that finally, and that's why I didn't really advertise for this very heavily because I was like, I just don't want another fail. Like, I'm so embarrassed that I can't figure out technology. It's like, oh, I'm actually really good at technology. So why that other streaming software was so freaking complicated is a mystery to me. But um Okay. So you know what, you guys, I think what I'm going to do is just get going. So, and and then if uh, I'm sure other people will pop in if they don't, whatever, like really, this is just my trial run for, um, for doing this and getting it right. And I think after this, I'll probably go full steam ahead with doing a lot more of these because I love doing live interactions. Um, I've always loved live TV. If you don't know, I started in live television doing makeup. So I worked for CNN and Fox News Channel. So I've um, at the national, international and national news. So I'm, oh, thank you, Melinda. I actually made an effort. I curled my hair. Otherwise I'd be here in my, <laughs> my sweats because that's what I live in. Um, um, okay, so let's get going. Now, what we're going to do is as we go along, if you ladies have questions, which I'm sure you will, just pop them in the comment section and I will try to answer as I go because there's not many of us, which is brilliant. So I can really, really fine tune this. Um, so my plan is to spend the first 30 minutes talking about skincare um, with, in, with a focus on dry skin. So we're really going to get into dry skin. 
and how to treat it. And then we're going to spend the last bit on foundation. Now, if we blitz through this faster than normal, then we'll be done quicker. I gave an hour for this. I just had no idea how many people were going to be here, how many questions. I know it's a Saturday. I'm going for a bike ride later. Like, you know, so I do want to keep this concise and meaningful so that you have a lot of takeaways. Um, so, okay. So for those of you who don't, so Cindy, Melinda, so far, the only ones who's commented, nobody else has commented. If you're in, if you're here, please comment in the chat so I can say hello to you. Don't have to give me your name. Just want to say hi as we go through this. Okay. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I do not use injectables or plastic surgery. So, um, I look how I look I'm 57. I just turned 57 two days ago. Um, and uh, what I explained to you that I do, I actually do. I, there's no hidden agenda here. I absolutely do everything I'm going to tell you. I don't even do it perfectly. Like, to be honest, I'm a bit lazy at heart. I forget to do things all the time. Now and again, I eat a big pile of sugar of something. <laughs> Like, I, you know, I'm not, and I think that's just because I, I choose to live more of a normal life. And okay. So let's move on. So I, so those, if you don't know, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations, check that out on my website. I wanted to be sure to bring that up. I'm doing a ton of those right now. So this coupon, I believe that it should be in the, um, Oh, where's the banner coupon? Okay, that should be showing. There we go. Okay, so the that's the coupon that you can take advantage of. It's 15% off and it is, um, the code is YAY15. It's Y-E-A-15. Take 15% off. You also get free shipping. So um, that's just great. I wanted to give that to all of you for coming. Okay, so starting with dry skin. Let me take a slurp of water. So my, I just wanted to quickly tell you a story before we get into this. It's very brief. I'm very concise. So, um, okay, I'll answer your question in just one second. Um, Melinda, that's a great question because we are going to actually talk about oil. So, so Melinda's asking about oil, camellia oil. Um, so a friend of mine uh, is an astrologer and he was doing a um, session with a client who owns a skincare line in um, Portugal. So he lives in Amsterdam. She's in Portugal. I used to live in Europe. You don't know. I lived in Europe for 10 years. So anyway, she was like, you have to buy my line. It's so great. And whatever he went on, spent 600 euros, which is $650. And it didn't do anything after a month. So he has dry skin. He has some skin issues. And why he never asked me is sort of a mystery. <laughs> but in any case, he went on and um, he, he, he emailed me and he said, why aren't these working? I don't understand. And you've probably felt this right with dry skin. Like I'm just layering all these things on that are supposed to be incredible and it isn't working. And so that was his question. And so he sent me a link to the um, website. I did a video on this. If you've seen the video, sorry to be redundant, but I basically looked at the ingredients because I'm a, a total nerd with all of this. And I really am good with the ingredients and it doesn't take a genius. Okay. This is not, it's not super complex. So don't think, Oh, ingredients, technical. It's totally not the case in the drop down ingredient list. And I look at the serums, like every, I basically ignore like 90% of all the other ingredient products. And I just go for the serums because that's where they should have active ingredients. And we're going to talk about that a little bit further on is what are the active ingredients you need to know about and look for in menus, in drop down menus, in um, not drop down, but in the menus for uh, skincare items. What do you need to look for? And what are the, there's only six active ingredients. So it's not, it's not a huge amount. And I'll give you all of them and I'll send out an email um, explaining this to, and if you're not on my email list, um, Melinda, I think you are. Cindy, I don't know if you are uh, and the other people here. So um, if you're not on my newsletter, just type in your email and I'll be sure to, to that you get this because I'm going to do more of a breakdown of what I'm talking about. Um, but the second ingredient in, second or third, I can't remember exactly, in the serum that he bought that saw no, he saw no improvement was a Botox alternative, which is basically a toxic chemical. So it's not super high in toxicity, toxicity level. There's a toxicities is one to seven. Okay. So he, it, I want to say it was like a six. So, I mean, I'm sorry, that's not, that's not accurate. It's not one to seven. Hold on. I'm not really sure how they do it. Different people do it differently. I do a one to seven. So anyway, it was relatively up there, but not like the most toxic chemical, but it was a Botox alternative. So the reason they put that in there is that when you put on the serum, you say, oh my God, it's working. Um, but it isn't working because it's not an active ingredient. So it doesn't do anything to change your skin. That's why he never saw improvement. So you have to go for, for the 
um, these types of ingredients. This is what's really important here. So, and what we do is we get confused because we think if I topically put a bunch of things on my skin, it should see a long-term improvement, which isn't the case. Companies want you to keep coming back for more. So that's why, you know, maybe temporarily it works, but long-term it doesn't. So what we're going to talk about is the long-term, right? We're here for the long haul. I, I, have, I have a very long haul mentality when it comes to health and skin is um, doing that work. Now, if you don't want to do the long haul, then absolutely go for injectables and go for Botox and Botox alternatives because they, in the minute, they look great, like for however long they last on your skin. But that's just not where I'm coming from. So, okay. So let's talk about dry skin. How are we doing? All right. So dry skin. Um, uh, okay. One thing I want to hit on here is moisturizers are softeners. They don't provide a chemical change. I did say that. Okay. Oils. Let's hit on oils. Cause well, that was your question. Oils like coconut butter, um, mayonnaise, olive oil. Like I've, I've had people sit in my makeup chair and say, I use coconut oil on my skin and their skin is like dry as a bone. Oh, right. Or oily on the surface and dry underneath, which shows a pH mess up. It's not connecting. So for your skin to actually be healthy, you have to have a normal pH, which what happens is with these oils and also the oil you mentioned, Melinda, um, camellia oil is actually not formulated. It's just an oil. And I love oils. I have a couple oils in here. I, I love them. I smear them all over myself, but they, they don't do anything long-term for your skin. They just feel nice in the moment. And the reason for that is these, these oils need to be compounded. You need a compounding pharmacist. So I had a guy sit in my chair at one point who said, I'm going to sell this, this skincare. It's an anti-aging oil. It's great. And I, I was like, oh, and he gave it to me and he said, tell me what you think. Um, and I said, okay, fine. So I, I actually looked up the ingredients. <laughs> it was all oils, all different lovely oils, like camellia, like what you're saying, Melinda. I mean, they're all nice oils. They're all organic and beautiful. And I went back to him and I said, you can sell this, but I have a feeling you're not going to, and I had to be really honest with him. I'd been working with him for a while, but I said, it's not going to really make a lot of money for you because it's not going to long-term do anything to change the skin because none of these can get beneath the top layer of the skin because they're not formulated. He didn't know this because he's not a compounding pharmacist. He doesn't, hasn't done his homework. He just thought, oh, I'll just make this cheap thing and I'll make a lot of money, which was very irritating from my end, having studied this for a long time. So um, so that's what you need is products that can get down to the cellular level. All right. How can you do that? How do you know that? And this has everything to do with dry skin is you need to use active ingredients and not just use them, but also take them. Yes, you're welcome, Melinda. Also take them internally like vitamins and nutritional supplements. And we're going to get there. And I've actually worked with people that are like, look, I I'll never take vitamins. Just tell me what to put on my skin. And I actually think, okay, that's fine to each his own. Like I don't, you know that's fine, but you're not, you're only going to see X amount of change. And with most of the people I coach, there's, okay, I will only spend X amount or I will only do X amount. You don't have to spend a huge amount. Okay. I don't think that's true. I just think you got to narrow it down to exactly what you need, but they're, they keep it down here. Like if I'm not, if I'm using, you know, so-called good ingredients, it should work. Not true. It depends on quantity, depends on type. And we're going to get into that. I don't want to overwhelm you. Have I overwhelmed you yet? All right. So the active ingredients, and there are only six. You could actually write these down. Super easy. Vitamin C, of course. There's oil soluble and water soluble. There's actually eight different types. I did a blog on it. If you want to check that out on my website at thebeautyshaman.com. You want tetrahexadecyl ascorbate. So there's L-ascorbic acid and there's tetrahexadecyl ascorbate. Those are two I'm going to talk about. There's actually eight, but those two. L-ascorbic acid is water-based. So it can't get beneath the top layer of the skin. It does very, very little. Uh, um, tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate is more expensive, but it absolutely gets beneath. So that's the key component. And you want to get 20% or higher in the product. And we're going to further on talk about what ingredients are in what. I am going to give you drugstore brands you can purchase. And I'm going to tell you other brands that actually are have a better quantity and quality of ingredients. Okay, the second thing is retinol, which is vitamin A. Then there's alpha hydroxy acids, um, which is super key. Essential fatty acids, which we're going to talk about taking that internally as well as externally, um, which is omega-369 internally. Nicinamide, which is a vitamin B complex, and hyaluronic acid. So that's it. Those are the only things you need to know about <laughs> when it comes to active ingredients for skin. That's it. So it's not, it's not like there's 50. There's, there's six. 
And two of those can really be taken mostly internally, and that is niacinamide um, and the uh, essential fatty acids, which needs to be both. Okay. When you look at ingredient decks, needs to be the, the top five ingredients are the most important. Anything after that is fillers, right? So a, a lot of times lines, and even lines I like, will have um, tons of organic this and organic that and some sort of oil and fruit of something they got in Africa. It doesn't really matter. It's just fluff, right? You're just going for those. And not that, I mean, it has some effect, but it's, like, don't spend your money on it, basically. Okay, so dry skin. Okay, we're going to go a little bit into internal health here because dry skin is primarily, it is 80% an internal issue. So constantly trying to externally deal with your dry skin um, and not seeing results is because you're not dealing with it from an internal standpoint. You need to do both, okay? I do both. Uh, again, I don't do it perfectly, which is probably encouraging for a lot of you. A lot of you, but um, so 80% is internal. So let's get into internal. Um, okay, so what happens with aging is as you get older, your skin stops um, dividing and moving to the surface. So in other words, here's your lower layer, and then you've got your top layer of your skin. So what happens is in the lower layer, when you're young, your cells are turning over very quickly because you have all the nutritional components in your body. You've got all the oils, like everything's working really well. And as you get older, they stop turning as fast, right? And so the cells stop dividing and, and going to the surface and then sloughing off. It just stops. It slows way down. So what we're trying to do is speed that back up. So you speed it back up through nutrition, which is very important and developing your collagen and that kind of thing. Um, and um, also doing kind of damaging the top layer of the skin, which sounds very counterintuitive, but that is how you do it. And you do that through alpha hydroxy acids and retinol, which we'll get to. So damaging your skin is very important. And I've had people email me and say, hey, I used whatever retinol and I got all this huge re reaction. I can't use retinol. And the truth is, it's because you're lacking in certain nutritional components that you can. We're gonna, I do have those nutritional components that you need. But the point is, you want that. You want those reactions, even if for a short period of time, you look kind of rough, right? Um, and if you're like me and you've been doing it for years and years and years, you have to get more and kind of up the ante all the time just to keep things rotating, so to speak. Um Okay, so how to support cell turnover? This is this is the this is the skincare question mark. How do you support cell turnover? What what is it? And what you do is through exfoliation. So exfoliation is alpha hydroxy acids, like what I said, and retinol. Um, so, but you need to have healthy skin and healthy body. Skin is your body. Your skin is the largest organ on your body. So if your skin is is in bad shape. I don't mean a little bit dry. I'm always kind of a little bit dry. That's 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 fine. That's kind of normal. <laughs> I don't think that's a big deal. I'm talking about skin issues like eczema, psoriasis, or you know, just sudden onset of aging. If you've noticed, wow, I've really aged. Sometimes that can be stress, right? But in the end, it's it's health. It's internal health. Okay. All right. So we are going to talk about nutrition. Okay. The most important nutritional component. You ready? I'd love to know what you guys think this is. I don't know if you want to take any jabs. Well, there's only a few of us here. That's okay. If you want to take a jab at it, go ahead. But basically, the most important nutritional component for older women is essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids, number one thing. So what is essential fatty acids? That's omega-369. So I'm going to show you a little show and tell. Got my show and tell. All right. So this is one of the brands I like. Oops. This is reversed. It's very weird, this camera. Um, okay. Uh, let me bring this out of the blur. Okay. So now foods. So now a lot of the ones I'm going to show you is now, not all of them, but this is omega 369. So as you get older, obviously our oils become much more depleted. So you need to take more oils than somebody who's younger. So I have read, you know, I read all the time, different writers who write about this and generally speaking, they're like take one a day, which is the biggest load of baloney. If you're over 50 and you're going through menopause, pre or post menopause, you need like these are 1200 milligrams. I take two of these three times a day. So that's almost 7,000 milligrams of omega-369s. Um, 
so, and it's a little, it can be a little hard on my stomach, all that oil. So I have to kind of modulate it. I have to take it with food. So, you know, you have to pay attention to your own body, obviously about these things, but, um, but if you take these faithfully within a couple of weeks, you're going to notice what I have, which is I get up in the morning and I've got, I've got a grease pit on my, my face, not a grease pit. That sounds horrible, but like my skin is super hydrated and you can see I've got some foundation on, but it's still, it just, just glow right through it. I'm like a little glow worm because I have enough oils in my system. You can also do this through eating a lot of, um, like salmon or mackerel or different fishes, but we don't eat enough fish in the Western world. So that's why taking this is so important. So I would say get yourself some omega 369s and start taking them and not to be a little TMI here, but you will be going to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> it's like everything starts exiting. It's fabulous, which is great for our midsection, you know, to have everything exit. Um, okay. Kind of a side note here is that your body is going to absorb Yes, Melinda, that's right. It is good to rub into the skin. Exactly. Um, you know, you can you can put it externally, but it's to have it get beneath the top layer, it does need to be formulated. And that's why having essential fatty acids in your skincare is really important. Um, so where am I? OK, so one little side note here. If you use table salt, you need to throw it away. Now, the reason I'm going to bring this up is that your body will absorb oils and essential nutrients and minerals so much better if you're using like Himalayan salt or like a really good salt. Um, table salt has had all the minerals taken out of it. So it is mineral deficient. It's not helping you. And that's why many people there, they have, think they have too much salt. They, it's not true. They have the wrong type of salt. Now I am not a doctor. I am not a naturopath. I'm just self-educated. So do your own homework. Don't take my word for it, but buy Himalayan salt, replace it from your table salt and then drink spring water and your body will retain the water so much better and retain the oils. Um, okay. So the second thing is vitamin A. So this is the number one deficiency in skin itself is vitamin A. So let's talk about that. Here we go. So this is the one I take. This is by Claire Labs, K-L-A-I-R-E Labs. This is reversed. So it's very awkward. So I take, I do only take one of these a day, um, but if you're into muscle testing, come on, stop blurring everything. Okay. If you're into muscle testing, I do a lot of muscle testing to find out how much, if you don't know what that is, just look it up. It's really easy. It's just your body telling you, I want more of that, or I want less of that. So I take these every day. Um, this will help uh, your skin recover from psoriasis, eczema, little white bumps, and chicken skin. So get on your vitamin A, right? Um, you need about 20,000 IU a day. So that's a lot of vitamin A. All right, vitamin C, of course. How are we doing on time? Okay. Vitamin C, you need external in serums and skincare, and you also need it internally. Your body does not manufacture vitamin C. And you cannot eat enough oranges or other fruits and vegetables to, to really fill what you need. Now that's a modern day issue because our food and our soil has been depleted through the use of chemicals like glyphosate. And uh, if you, if you get down this rabbit hole, it gets pretty, pretty intense, but needless to say, we're not getting enough vitamin C in our diet. And it's a wonderful protector for your health to take um, vitamin C and what your body doesn't need. It just gets rid of. Um, Okay, there's 60% more chemicals in our diet since the 1950s. So that's how intense the chemical overload is. And vitamin C really helps to combat that. And it really helps to improve your skin. Um, I would say, all right, this vitamin C is the one I've been taking. It's again now, foods, there we go. C1000, so it's a thousand milligrams. Um, I, take, I take three of these a day, although if I'm feeling slightly poorly, um, I just raise that amount up. Um, I definitely go according to what my body needs. I am completely very, very fluid about how much I take. Okay. So zinc, of course, zinc helps cells to divide, um, improves collagen, anti-inflammatory, and it strengthens, strengthens the immune system. So get yourself some zinc or zinc in other ingredients too. You don't have to take it just solo zinc. Vitamin D, we all should know a lot about vitamin D now after the whole pandemic. Um, I like it in in liquid form. So this is the one I take. Uh, it's vitamin D3 with K2 that helps you be able to digest it better. So this is great. And it is orthomolecular products. That's how that looks. 
Okay, and vitamin E. Vitamin E is an anti-inflammatory. It also helps with sun protection. So let me show you my vitamin E. Here we go. Beep. Integrative therapeutics. So I just take one of these a day, but you'll notice a big difference. If you start doing all this, you'll totally know. Okay, topical. Let's go into topical um, for dry skin. Retinol is very important for dry skin. So we're going to start on ret retinol. That is topical vitamin A. Um, so there's different types. I've got, I've just got a few here. These are the ones that I sell. I've given you a discount. So if you want any of these, just pop on and get them, but, um, and you don't have to like, whatever, it's just what I'm going to talk about. Um, so this is restoring youth repair cream. This is a, it's the blue bottle. This is retinol. Um, you can use this every day for the most part. If you notice some irritation back off for a day and then go back on, this is a, you know, I don't really know the percentage because image is not great with telling us percentages, but I've, I've been using this and the percentage I think is pretty high. I would say it's not a 1% retinol. I would say it's probably more like a 0 0.0, 0 0.75 or something like that. So, but it's good. It's good for every day. That's just my guess. Okay. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this um, will help, like I said before, speed the movement of cells from the bottom to the top and helps them exfoliate. This is like the number one exfoliator, this and alpha hydroxy acids. So definitely start using retinol. You do need to use an SPF from that moment on because your skin becomes more sensitive. So, um, okay, Melinda just asked a couple questions. Uh, what would you say the main one to take by mouth would be the most important? Probably the omegas. I would say if you have it, if you, you know, are just trying to budget down, to one, I would say an omega. I would not do a multivitamin. I'm not a fan of multivitamins. I don't think it's enough of any of those. But I would say if you can do omegas, omega three six nine, and your vitamin C, you'll you'll automatically notice your skin will improve. So, okay. Uh, so, oh, this was the point about if you can't use retinol, the reason why is you have a depletion of vitamin B. Uh, vitamin B complex and fatty acids, and you'll be able to take retinol more easily, which is fantastic. So let's hit on the vitamin B, which is here, active B complex. This is by integrative. I don't make anything if you buy any of these. These are just the ones that I use. Oop, there we go. Vitamin B complex. So this has niacinamide, which is one of the active ingredients that is used in skincare for your skin. So I think this is fabulous. Um, I, you know, I, I was taking two a day. I think one a day is probably fine. Um, so with retinol, start slow and build up. If you want a drugstore brand, I would say go to Neutrogena Wrinkle Repair. So it's a low quant quantity. I, I think it's 0.03%. I want to say when I looked into it, you're welcome, Melinda. When I looked into it, it's 0.03%. So that's really low. So if you've never used retinol, you have sensitive skin, you're concerned about a rash, you're concerned about all of that, I would just go to the local drugstore and get um, Neutrogena Wrinkle Repair. That's what I would do and try it for a while. Do the other things we're talking about. Change your salt. You take your omega threes, you know, kind of do everything. Allow your body because a lot of this is allowing your body to shift into a place where it can actually make these changes. Um, OK, so I would say that and then move to higher quantities. So this is a higher quantity. Um, the, and then there's oops, I don't have it in front of me, but truth treatments as you know, it's like my. I love truth treatments. It's pricey. So I think if you really want like to go for the gusto, get the truth treatments, there's a 1% and a 5% retinol. I use the 5%. I don't have any reactions to it. So, you know, he puts a lot of vitamin C in with each one of those, which is fabulous because it helps it not be so harsh on the skin um, and an oil soluble. So it's great. Okay. Let's go into a vitamin C. So you need an external vitamin C serum. So there's, here's where to spend your money. If you're like, I don't know where to spend my money on skincare. Everything is so expensive. It's so overwhelming. Absolutely true. <laughs> so get any cleanser you want, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. I use, this is the one I use. This is a restoring facial. This is my, one of the brands I carry image. Um, this is actually a bundle where you can get these three, the vitamin C, the retinol and the cleanser and a moisturizer with SPF 54. It's 220, which is a great price. Anyway, this has alpha hydroxy acids in it. Whoop, there we go. So I get my alpha hydroxy acids every day with this. Um, I get it from other ways as well. And we'll talk about that when we hit AHAs. But um, but just get anything you want in a cleanser, anything you want in a moisturizer and an SPF. Doesn't matter. You want to spend your money on vitamin C and retinol. Absolutely. Those are the two key most important things. 
Okay, so vitamin C promotes collagen production. You want fat soluble, like I explained in the beginning. You want to be sure you get tetrahexidesyl ascorbate. It's a fat soluble vitamin C, pretty common in serums. L ascorbic acid is a much less expensive one. It's much more common, um, but it is a little bit more irritating and it's not, it's water soluble, so it doesn't get as deep into the skin. Um, so th the product I would recommend if you want to start with vitamin C and just kind of start low, which is fine, go drugstore brand, go to Vichy vitamin C serum should be in a dark glass container. Very important. Vitamin C is highly unstable. You need to put it in a glass container. So, um, Melinda says I take liquid B because my stomach does not manufacture. Yes. I mean, some of us, that's the case, right? Like we really need those, um, to take it liquid because so it goes more into our body. So it's great. That's great. You know, your body, Melinda, that's wonderful. Um, so I would say with the vitamin C serum, start with that. Just start with a, um, you know, the Vichy vitamin C serum, or if you want a good vitamin C, then you have to look at the ingredient deck for tetrahexidesyl ascorbate. Again, if you're on my newsletter, I will send out a breakdown of this um, next week. So you'll have all the names, you'll have the breakdown of what we talked about. So um, if you want, if you're not able to write all this down, then um, be sure you do that. Just go to my website and there's a little form there or write it down here in the comment section. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to really see big changes, then you got to go for a better vitamin C, at least 20%. That's where the image MD comes in. So this is great. Restoring youth serum. All right. This one is about 20%. And I use, you know, you can use it morning and night. I only use vitamin C serum once a day. Again, I'm a bit lazy. I don't like to mow through product that quickly. And so that's what I do. But but and then, of course, the big daddy of all vitamin C, and I talk about this on a lot of my videos, is the um, this one. This is the Truth Treatments vitamin C. It is tetrahexidesyl ascorbate. It is 80% vitamin C. There's only nine ingredients in this. His products are like freaking, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're so loaded with active ingredients. They're so effective. Um, and they're also so concentrated and active that sometimes people can have a reaction. That's why if you're sensitive, I would say start with the image or start with a drugstore and then work your way up into them. If you don't have sensitivity, then go for it. But this is also like $200. So, you know, just depends on your budget and what you're willing to kind of lay down. Um, yeah, click that thumbs up. That's right. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's fantastic. I got to say, love them. But I also love image. I think image is the the... You know, if you want something that's more reasonably priced, I would say go for the go for the image. All right, alpha hydroxy acids. So I talked about getting those in your cleanser. CeraVe SA Cleanser is a great drugstore brand that has alpha hydroxy acids. Um, you can buy alpha hydroxy acids separately in in smaller containers and just spot treat. So I do um, acid peels and microdermabrasion, and I meant to bring my. I didn't bring it in here. Anyway, I've got a microdermabrasion handheld little machine that you can buy for like 400 bucks and do your own microdermabrasion. Um, if you're interested in that, then, you know, oh, somebody just responded. So then, you know, let me know and um, I can I can um, send you a link for it. So, uh, OK, so Black Diamond is saying Vita Cost has a perfect vitamin C. OK, I'm not familiar with that brand, so I can't. Uh, I appreciate the plug there, but I, I, I know nothing about Vita Cost. So. Um, again, we're looking at ingredients and that sort of thing. So I have no idea what they use. Um, okay. Okay. The last thing is a hyaluronic acid. So it doesn't stay in your skin. Now, if you, if you're taking a lot of these supplements, we're talking about your skin is going to start to manufacture more of a hyaluronic acid, but it doesn't, you have to continue having great health for, for your body to make it. So many of us are depleted. So that's why we don't have that plumpness as much. So even external application of vitamin of a hyaluronic acid needs to be done every day to see an effect because it does build up in the body. Um, so hyaluronic acid, let's see what else plumps immediately. Also, you know, changing your diet, eating green leafy vegetables and more of a more veggie based diet. I'm not a vegetarian. I used to be, but I can't be. It messes with my guts. So um, I have a little bit of meat every day. But anyway, vegetables, green leafy vegetables. Great for helping to grow this. OK, so we have covered. I'm doing pretty well on time here. Pretty happy with this. Um, we have covered the the dry skin aspect of this, which is the, I'm sorry, the health and nutrition aspect of this, which is absolutely 
so important. So if you don't do the internal um, supplements and health and that sort of thing, then it doesn't matter what you do externally. It's never really going to have a long-term effect. It's going to help. External definitely helps, um, but it's only 20% of the equation. So please keep that in mind. Um, okay, so let's talk about foundations. Yay, skin. So I'm a professional makeup artist. Um, I worked in television for many years, and then I ran the makeup department at Guy TV. So I've for 10 years. So, um, you know, I'm super experienced and I, I love makeup. It's so much fun. So we're going to talk about foundations. So the big mistake I see women make, older women, and that is who I love making up and dealing with. The number one thing, mistake I see people making is using A, not taking care of their skin, which is the most important thing, and then B, using too heavy of a foundation. In other words, going for a full coverage. And I recently saw one of my fellow influencers who's in the, our age demographic going on saying, buy a matte full coverage, see how great it looks. So <laughs> I was like, oh God, now, and, and I'm not going to tell you who she is, but she has, a, she, I don't use injectables or plastic surgery. So if you put a full coverage foundation on somebody who is more sort of normal, right? Like we've got, I've got some lines, I've got, you know, a little bit around my eyes because I'm normal, I'm human. She does not have any of that because she's using all of those techniques, which is fine if you want to do that. I'm not, that's fine. You do you, right? I'm just here explaining my bit of this. But if you're if you're um, using a lot of fillers and injectables and you put a full coverage, it's probably going to look nice. If you do that with someone who does not, it's not going to look nice. OK, it doesn't look nice. It looks bad. So what I would say is go for a light to medium coverage. Um, I find this to be the biggest thing. And one of the problems I see is that as older women, we're like, yes, but I have age spots and I have discoloration and that doesn't cover it. OK, so do I. Where is mine? Because it's Rob's. OK, there's oops, it's here. <laughs> It's all backwards. There's my lovely age spot. I didn't cover it for you so you could see it. Um, and I also have discoloration over my eyes. So I understand this issue. So my method is when I make people up, I do pretty much light to medium coverage foundation so that it looks natural. And you got to match your neck, by the way, too. Don't match your face, match your neck. Um, and then I spot treat with concealers. So for example, I don't even know if I, where's my concealer? Here it is place. If you saw my studio, y'all would be like, what? All right. So, but I start with foundation. So this one, I'm going to just show, I'm going to show and tell only one. And then we're going to talk about other ones. Um, if you have questions again, put it for those of you who've joined us, put it down in the comment section. If you have questions, I'm here to answer, right. I'm here to do Q and a, so please write down if you want to say something. Um, all right. So this is merit beauty. So I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of merit beauty. Um, I know that I've had people say they didn't care for the blushes. I think that was the only concern I've had people say. I, everything else I'm in love with. It's not a big line. I might even carry it if I can talk them into it. I'm sure they probably would. But anyway, so this is Merit. So they are a non-toxic clean beauty brand. I don't make anything by plugging this, by the way. Like this is just me telling you what I've been using. So I really like it. It's a light to medium coverage. Great on older skin. Um, you know, they have a good color range. I matched myself in one shot, which is even I mess up on doing the online matching. So anyway, very, very good. Um, other, other clean skincare brands. Oh, I just, I have the hardest time finding non-toxic brands that foundation that I like. Now I'm also a professional makeup artist. So I'm coming from a very, you know, a very different perspective. I'm concerned about lighting and cameras and, you know, all of that. So, uh, but if you have one you like, please, um, please. Okay. So black diamond says she likes signature minerals. I've never heard of signature minerals, but that's, that's nothing. I mean, there's tons of products out there. So, um, so anyway, so the, as far as non-toxic brands go and even Jane Iredell, I carried Jane Iredell for a while. Um, I didn't really care for her foundations. That's just me. So it's hard for me to find one. I really like, I do like this one. That's why I'm plugging it. Um, so I would say if you're willing to go over to the, you know, not so clean kind of um, foundations. Um, I would say, you know, look the ones that I like, I really like Mac face and body. So I worked for Mac for a number of years and their face and body is great. I think it's looks beautiful on older skin. Um, I would go with a brand that you like, like say, for example, I just coached a woman yesterday who liked Estee Lauder. So we went on Estee Lauder website. So this is what you are looking for. So Melinda says, what would you not use? So I'm going to talk about what you look for, like definitely look for, and then we'll go into the don't look for. 
Um, so look for, um, you want sheer to medium coverage. You do not want a water-based. You want an oil-based. So a lot of times it'll say oil-free because they're catering to the oily skinned, acne prone crowd. So typically older women, that's not so much where we're at, although I realize many of us have oily skin and acne, so I don't want to categorize, but I was speaking in the general terms. Um, so go into that line and she, so we went online and I read, you know, just very quickly, there's only like four foundations or maybe five with Estee Lauder. Um, and I was like, oh, well, this one looks great because it also contains a, some lovely oils in there, which would be beautiful. And it's got some vitamin C and, you know, it had some good things in there. And I said, that would be the one I would go for. So I don't think it's like there's only two in the world that look great on older skin. That's not true. There's actually a lot. So, um, you know, again, as a pro artist, um, I use a professional brand called Ben Nye. It's B-E-N-N-Y-E. Um, you can actually go on the Ben Nye website and buy, buy his stuff. Uh, it's not expensive. I think it's like $12 for like a little foundation. I love them. I've, but they're professional, right? So they're made for HD cameras, but you know, personally speaking, that's what I use. Somebody had asked that what professional brand do I like? And it's, it's that one. So, um, I also use RCMA, which is fantastic. So those, again, these are all professional brands, but if you're going to go into a Nordstrom or a Sephora, you know, I think grab, go where you gravitate, right? If you've heard good things about, um, NARS, for example, I actually have a few NARS things in my kit. I like NARS. So, you know, I would try it out. So what I do is take a swipe and I'll show you what I, how I swipe it is I have, oh God, this backwards thing is really, really super weird Oop, this way. Okay. Is you swipe it like that and you can look at, does that match my skin? It looks like it's going to be too light, but once you blend it in, this actually looks really, really, really nice. Um, and that's how you match it because you're trying to match like this, right? So let's see, that looks great. So just match it. And one good idea is to get a sample, put it on, go outside, look in the light, see how it sets. I know it's a bit, bit of work, but some of these are pricey, right? Like this one, I think is 35. You know, I used for Chanel for a long time, which was like 65. So, you know, if you're going to, I think get a good foundation because it'll make a big difference. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. I did go into that. Okay. What wouldn't I do? I would not do full coverage. Um, I, I absolutely hate full coverage foundations on older skin. I, I, I really do. And then again, you spot treat. So put on a light to medium and then spot treat with a, a concealer. Here's, this is my palette from my kit. It's a Mac palette. Um, but for example, I see, I can't do this backwards. I'm sorry. So this, this is the one I've been using, but I can also use this um, lighter one here a little bit. So how I do that is I use my fingers. I like to use my fingers, by the way. So there's my little lovely age spot. So I can, if it's on, you just roll it. See? And tap it. And there you go. Bye-bye. Very easy. So that's how I do um, discoloration. So I always have kind of like these, you know, I've, this is where my aging shows right here, which is fine. Hello, 57. Um, so I do a little bit of concealer just in the fold here. I don't put it all the way across because I have puffiness. Um, but what the mistake is to use a full coverage foundation and then think I don't need to use a concealer, but then it'll most of the time they crease. I've not found a full coverage for older skin that I like. So uh, what if your neck is lighter than your face? That happens a lot, actually. Um, it depends on how much lighter. So for example, I've made up people who had a lot of red in their skin, um, right? And then their neck did not have the same quantity of red. So then I would use a skin tint to take out the red, which is green. So I know that's a little bit technical, but then I would nullify that green and then put a foundation on that matches the neck. Um, because, you know, because I do on camera, red is louder on a camera than yellow. So I want to make the skin a little bit less red in general. Um, but so th that is challenging, especially the darker skin that you get. So say African-American skin or Latino skin that has that because it can go ash very, very quickly. I'm being super technical here. But if you can do that, if you can kind of just lighten your face or, um, you know, use a tint. And if that's an issue, Melinda, maybe um, you and I could chat about it. I think that's a, I'd have to see your skin. Um, <clears throat> okay. A boy, the other thing I would avoid is powder foundations. So 
you know, I, I would love to love powder foundations. I'll be honest with you. My best friend found one that she likes, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but she put it on and I thought, well, it's not bad. It's got an iridescent quality to it. So I wouldn't use it because I'm on camera and that would really be too much. I think on camera, it would drive me crazy. Um, but for her, she's not on camera. So she was she liked it. And I was like, okay, good for you. So if you it just, I think there's lines out there, but honestly, I, the ones I've tried, I just absolutely hate for mature skin. I've yet to find one. Um, okay. So the key to foundation is having your skin be in great shape. Like I said earlier, it's, it is the key component. Um, the worst thing that would happen is, is someone walk into the studio and have very dry skin and I've put foundation on and then I have to try to correct that mess. Like it was, it'd be really, really challenging. So <clears throat> then I would get on my soapbox and talk about skincare <laughs> politely. I would do it. Um, they also use an SPF every day. If you start using it, you know, a alpha hydroxy acids and retinol use at least a 15. Um, I use, you know, that's, I use a 50 when I'm outside, I'm outside a lot. Uh, I would also say, do not use a beauty blender sponge. So this is all the rage in our younger generation. I loathe them. I actually bought a few to use in the studio. Um, and I used them a few times. I did actually find use for it a couple of times with people with especially bad skin women. Um, and I needed to use a full coverage foundation and I would use that to really get it into the skin. I think for everyday use, I really, really loathe and despise them. I gave them a funeral and sent them off. <laughs> um, Okay. So, all right. So that was, that's the presentation. That's everything I want to talk about. So if there's any other questions, I just want to know, um, any other questions, let's go through, okay. The 15% sent off code yay 15 Y E A H 15. Um, okay. The, uh, DP wrote, I really like the Jane Iredell pressed mineral foundation, but it took me years to find the exact match. Um, yes. So I've actually tried their mineral foundation. I actually had a few of theirs in the studio when I worked at Gaia, um, because one of the few of the talent that I worked with really, really liked that particular foundation. So I bought some and I've used it. Um, and so on camera, actually, it looked really nice. So, but they were younger, right? They were like in there. I want to say he was in his late thirties. It was a guy. Um, and I've had women come in and want to use that. I, I think, I think again, you're talking to somebody who like, over examines a lot of this. So I think if you like it, that I'm so for you. If you like it, go for it, right? I, I'm That's fabulous. And if your skin's in good shape, you should be fine um, to use that. So I just think don't put it on dry skin. Like that's the problem. Um, a lot of these mineral-based foundations, some of them can be really good. You know, I have tried ones um, that are good, but on the whole, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan in the world. I wish I was, really do. Um, okay, so what else did I want to talk about? I think, um, so again, so I'm going to reiterate, uh, please go, please sign up for my newsletter because I give discounts and I'm going to do a lot more of these live. So this was my first successful one. If you if you watch me, you know, I bombed a couple of times because of technology issues. So yay, it worked. I'm so, I'm like wetting myself right now. I'm so happy that this worked because I love doing live. I love interacting. I love talking to all of you. So I'm going to start doing maybe one or two of these a month for sure. Um, if you have a topic you like, write it down below or email me. It's Suzanne at the beauty uh, The spelling of my name is up there. So, you know, just email me, say, Hey, do this. And that I just had somebody email me about a topic. So um, love it. I love hearing from you. Please don't hesitate to write or do any of that. I'm super into talking to all of you. Um, so that's it. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you learned something about dry skin. Um, you know, please pop over to the website, check it out, check out my blog. I've got a really good, strong blog. Um, I write about all of the stuff that I'm talking about. Lots of technical information. I get into stuff. Um, I've got image MD and truth treatment skincare. So fabulous. And I've got a Jane Ardell eyeshadow, which I still have until I can sell out. I'm going to, I think I've got it on sale too. So it's a good, really good eyeshadow palette. It's like five. So, okay. So I'm done 10 minutes early. So, cause yeah, you're welcome, Melinda. Thank you so much everybody for coming. Um, I totally appreciate it. Um, and you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I'm on social media too. Let me just put up, actually, I forgot to do this. So these are my social media locations. If you want to tr follow me on any of them, it's always the beauty shaman that's, but there's a few like shaman, beauty shamans. There's different 
kind of one. So be sure you get it right. But it's always my mug shot. So you'll see that. Um, yeah. So just go to there and like and follow. And, you know, all of that really helps me to continue to stay in business and um, give all the information away for free, which I love doing. So, all right, I'm going to go off now. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I have two comments. Let me do this. Melinda, you're welcome. Do I carry vitamins? I do not carry vitamins. So if you want to know the vitamins I just recommended, just go to my Amazon storefront. So if you just type in, actually, that's a good question. I don't know how you would get to my Amazon storefront. Let me, um, let me quickly put the link in there for my Amazon storefront. Where would that be on my channel? Um, actually I do know where it would be. Okay. I'm going to put a link in there for Amazon storefront. So that has all the vitamins that I've been recommending here. Uh, there we go. Here it is. Um, so it's influence. Oh, it's just a number, which is such a pain. Sorry. Uh, influencer dash five C, whatever, there it is. I, I would rather it be my name. I wonder if you type in Suzanne, the beauty shaman, if it would come up, I'm actually going to look into that. That's bad that that doesn't be more exact than that. Um, so yes. So I think, um, hopefully, you know, again, if you're on my newsletter, I'm going to send this all out. Every vitamin that I use, I'll give, put links like everything. So you guys will have full access to that. Uh, you're, thank you so much for coming, DP. I really appreciate it. I think you've commented before on other videos. So I really appreciate you being here. Um, yeah. All right. So thank you, ladies. Hugs and kisses. Hope you got all this information down. There's a lot. Hope I didn't totally like fry all of you. Like, oh my God, she went too fast. Uh, I hope not. All right. Hugs and kisses. Thank you for watching the beauty shaman. See you later. <laughs>